This is number nine on your list. This is uh, Pyrus Caloriana in the Rosaceae. Calorie pear is a much maligned species and uh, generally for good reason. So uh, the first introduction was Pyrus Caloriana Bradford, which uh, pears are actually self incompatible. So uh, that means that in order to get fruit on them, you need to have multiple different genotypes. So as long as you're only planting Bradford pear, it's not an issue. But when you have multiple genotypes or multiple different cultivars, they will cross pollinate and they are actually quite fertile. So uh, if you're in uh, on the East Coast in particular, or in the Midwest for that matter, you will see many, many Bradford pears or calorie pears that have escaped cultivation. Uh, you typically will see them uh, along fence rows or power line cuts. Uh, in spring, they're just loaded with these white flowers. And here are the small fruits of calorie pear. They do have uh, the, the um, uh, sclerid cells on the outside, just like other uh, pears, but these are uh, obviously not edible, but they are perfectly good to spread, these, um, uh, spread the species around. So white flowers in early spring, they are fetid, F-O-E-T-I-D. That means they are fragrant, but not in a good way. So they do not have a uh, very attractive fragrance. They're, they're quite disgusting, actually. Uh, which is uh, all the more confounding why you still see them planted uh, in areas that are very close to people. So you see them in uh, shopping mall parking lots. And it's fun to watch people get out of their cars and uh, see them realize that, that they're, they're surrounded by this really terrible fragrance and looking around for where it's coming from. So uh, the leaves of calorie pear are uh, ovate to rounded. Okay, So you can see that this one is uh, elliptic or uh, it, it's elliptic to nearly round in shape. They have an abrupt acuminate apex, or they can be acute as we have here. They have quite a long petiole and they are glabrous, right? So they have no hairs on them. They're also quite glossy, right? Um, so a uh, calorie pear in general is not a plant that I would recommend. It has a bad fragrance. Uh, it, uh, if you're not planting a sterile variety, which there are some sterile varieties, a recent release from uh, Dr. Tom Ranney at North Carolina State University uh, has introduced some uh, sterile cultivars. So make sure you have a sterile cultivar. The other thing that I'll mention about calorie pear is depending on the cultivar, uh, it can have real issues with branch structure and, and angle. And so you sometimes will see uh, great losses due to uh, snow load or ice load where the trees literally are just completely split apart and the whole canopy is laying on the ground. So uh, it's a good plant to know, but it's mostly a good plant to avoid. That's Pyrus caloriana.